draw this adorable Shih Tzu puppy with me, then grab yourself something to draw on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase on your paper if you make any mistakes, and something to outline your doodle with. And then do not forget to grab the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint, whatever it is that you like to color with, and let's get started. cartoon Shih Tzu puppy. I do not own a Shih Tzu. I actually own a Dalmatian, a Basenji, and a Pitbull mix. So I have no idea too much about a Shih Tzu, but I do own, I do have a friend who owns one, so I do know kind of what they look like. So we are going to start by having our paper skinny and tall. So that is a vertical. And we are going to create his little nose first. So I'm going to give him a small, well, let's go medium shaped rounded triangle. And I'm gonna color it in, since I'm drawing directly in marker, I'm gonna go ahead and color it in with my black. You do not have to color it in if you are using pencil. You might want to wait. Then I'm going to come up. So right up in the middle here, I want to leave this part open. So I'm going to come over to about the outside of his nose, and I'm going to create a curved line that's going to kind of wiggle in a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to curl out and in. And this is going to be kind of the outside of his face. And I know he's going to be very fluffy, and we are going to need a lot of squiggly lines for the hair and for some extra fluffy fur. Like let's add some right here for some extra fur up at the top. And the ears are on the shorter side when they're groomed. So we are gonna come down on the sides over here and we are going to create some nice choppy ears. We want that those little zigzaggy lines. That's, the, that's helping us show fur. So I'm going to add a little zigzag there to maybe show the base of the ears. And there's ours so far. And now I'm going to come from the nose out because we want to kind of make that muzzle. So we're going to come out with a curved line on both sides and then we're going to curve back and out and down and that's just going to be that fur on the top of his face here. And I'm going to add three dots, and you can do that with your marker. Those three dots just help show where our little doggy would have the whiskers without us drawing big old whiskers. I'm going to give him two ovals for his eyes, and I'm going to color those eyes in nice and black. And again, if you're in pencil, please wait. Do not color in with your pencil because your pencil lead will smear and it'll make your paper kind of gray, and we don't want that. So from the middle of his nose, well, let's finish down here. So I'm going to keep coming around here first with different fur lines, just for some scruff on his face. Then I'm going to come from the middle of my nose straight down, and I'm going to give him his little fish hook mouth. So now I've got kind of the face to my Shih Tzu, so he is just kind of sitting on the ground. So now we're going to draw his body. And the same way that we draw most of our bodies, we're going to have that curved line that comes down on both sides for the outer part of his arms. However, we want him to look shaggy and fluffy. So we're going to come down with some zigzag lines, trying to stay at that same curved shape. And then we're going to come in in the middle. We're going to do the same thing. And this is that inner line to his paws. And then you can go through and add in your three U-shapes for the base of the paws. And now we've got a good chunk of the front of his body in. And I'm going to draw a straight line where his body is going to meet the floor. So kind of where he's sitting. I'm going to add a couple extra little fluffs in here for some extra fur. Maybe my Shih Tzu has two colors. Maybe he's got like a tan belly 
and a white or a cream colored fur. So now since he's a shorter dog, we want his legs to be down just a little lower and we're gonna add some small, same little curved line here for his legs down low. We wanna add those little ridges to help it look like he has fur. And then we're gonna come around with a curved line. And then I'm gonna add just another little curve for another little toe there, and we're gonna bring it back to his body. So now we've got our little Shih Tzu drawn. You can finish and fix up any little lines that you might have missed. And he does not have a tail. So I do think I kinda of wanna to try to make that slightly curled tail look. I don't really know how with how he's sitting. Maybe we could sit it on the ground. Let's do that. Maybe he's relaxed. So we can add a little tail coming out over here and we can curl it around and add all that fur that's probably chilling at the end of his tail. There we go, that'll work. Look at that. And then you can add in your horizon line so your doggy isn't floating in the air. So go ahead and draw in wherever he is at. Look at our adorable little Shih Tzu puppy. Oh, I cannot wait to color him with you. Grab whatever it is that you like to color with. I am gonna be using my Twistables by Crayola. But you can use paint, color pencil, marker, oil, pastel, crayon, whatever it is that you like to color in, and we can go ahead and add a little more life to our little doodle. Stick around. Look at how adorable our little Shih Tzu puppy turned out. Look at how cute he is. I love it. I decided to leave him white because the only Shih Tzus I've ever seen are white. So that's the color I chose to use. I did go in with a little gray and give him a little shadow just to help add a little something to him. But I hope that you had fun drawing this with me today. If you did enjoy our Shih Tzu Doodle, please like and subscribe to the videos and always check back for more. I cannot wait to see you again. Have a wonderful day.